It's time for Hostile Discourse. Here's your host, David Rolfing. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 40 of Hostile Discourse. We have an exciting and different episode tonight. We will be doing a fantasy league draft for Game of Thrones Season 8, which premieres in exactly one week from us recording this. It'll be Sunday night, April 14th, and there are six episodes in the season, I think each like an hour and a half long. It's going to be going to be awesome, and it wraps up at the end of May. So we're doing a fantasy draft. There's money on the line, and uh, we'll go over the results in our season review episode at the end of May. So I will introduce tonight's fantasy crew, starting with returning guest Chris Fisher from New York. Welcome back, Chris. Thanks for having me. Happy Masters Week. I invited you on this episode because you are addicted to fantasy sports. So, I don't know. Have you done a TV fantasy thing before? Uh, Bachelor. Yeah. Very cool. Wow. I thought it was for my Game of Thrones expertise. Jeez, I feel slighted. No, not that. No. no. (laughs) And returning guest, Tim Witham. Welcome back, Tim. Howdy, howdy. How are the Rocks doing these days? Dude, they're good. They're doing very, really good. Hopefully, they can uh, tell me some secrets as to what's going to happen at the end of this season. But who mm. knows? The Only time will stones. tell. Tim, yes. as a as a geologist, do you think that the wall is made from like only ice, or do you think there's rock underneath that? I mean, I think. I mean, the in the world of Game of Thrones, the wall is predominantly held together by magic. I would argue. Um, mm. I think it's no accident that it came down to like some sort of dragon fire. Uh, but I mean, we'll have to see. I'm more interested in how dragon glass will be used. That's obsidian, which is an amazing, oh. beautiful type of volcanic rock to find. Very nice. And you heard him. You love him. Back again, Joe Kuiper from Oklahoma City. Hello, everyone. And my other faithful co-host, Jared Cozart from Tulsa. Hello, Jared. Hey, gang. Hey, David. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Okay, um, I'm going to flip over to the fantasy site, fantasizer.com. So, the reason Mm. I, or the way I found this fantasy league was through theverge.com. So, they have a writer, journalist, whoever it is, automatically scoring these criteria for us. So, we don't actually have to keep track ourselves, which is pretty nice. Um, I'll quickly just read through the, the criteria for the characters earning points real quick before we get started, just so you listeners can know. So there's a category called violence or 10 points for killing a random character or white capped at 50 points, um, 15 points, kill a white Walker, 25 points, kill a known or drafted character. So one of the main characters on the list, 150 points, killing a dragon, five points, incapacitate random character, but not killed 10 points, incapacitate known or drafted character, not killed 25 points for a character dying memorably. And there are a few on this list that are kind of subjective, especially under the wits and schemes category. So this Verge person, I am hoping, plays fairly and not, you know, she doesn't have too too big of a bias when scoring this, but we're just going to go with it. It'll make it more fun, I think, to get angry at some of her picks along the way, but... Um, There's a sex and nudity section, bold come on, sex with a random, sex with a known character, sex with a blood relative. My favorite. Watching people (laughs) have sex, getting naked, just PG-13, getting naked butt and boobs, getting naked genitalia, the whole shebang. And then wolves and dragons, which are characters you can pick, cannot get points for sex or nudity. So that's not really fair, but if two wolves have sex, they should be on that list. (laughs) there's a wits and schemes category funny one-liners brutal one-liners which is super subjective and soliloquy about winter violence or the past (coughs) bran status and power section taking the iron throne sacking a city seat on the high council use of magic max one per episode gaining ownership of valerian steel having a vision taking up a new religion engaged married getting pregnant, losing a baby, promotion, demotion, come back from the dead, act of betrayal, joining an alliance, riding or controlling dragon, max one time per episode, MVP of the episode, scorekeeper's choice. So this one is just up to the Verge editor 
to choose who her favorite character was for the episode. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. And then revealed as Azor Ahai, which means like you're able to light your sword on fire, I believe. It's a mythical character. Exactly. There's a prophecy foretold with it. Oh, okay. And that one right there is why I'm drafting Hot Pie. <laughs> <laughs> he is Azor Ahai. Hot's in his name, and, you know, he's the Lord he of is, Fire, yeah. so there you go. Gosh. It's unlikely. Hey, I was just thinking, if two of the wolves that we know had sex, they would get points for blood relative, too. <laughs> <they're from> <laughs> True. <laughs> Which makes me want to up my, like, they, they just work their way up my draft board quite a bit. <laughs> Those late risers. Yep. All right, last few. Surviving the series, ending the series as a king or queen, and 10 points, one-time per episode, eating or drinking on screen. Those are all the criteria. There are how many players, Joe? 60 something? Uh, 54. 54 characters. Um, so let's get into it. Gonna start the draft. Oh, baby. Who's gonna get the first pick? Okay, you, no one on the no one listening can see my screen, and you guys can't really see my screen either. I have a screenshot of all the criteria that David just went through with um with all the points for everything, <laughs> and my screenshot stops at get a seat on the high council. So maybe half of that um, I didn't know you could get points for. <laughs> so my, it's my on the website. Is all, it's already not looking too good, but it's okay. Gotcha. It's, it's pretty general stuff. Everything's like 10 or 15 yeah. points. So just no, like betraying. I, you know, I, I still like my chances. I think, I think, I'm, uh, I think you guys are all – Pretty, pretty easy prey here. So, oh, Jared, good. the first pick looks like it's going to you, Team Night Night King. Let me explain my name first, the Night Night King, because well, the, the Night King is gonna win, man. He's gonna win the whole thing, uh, and and thus it's night night for everybody else. Good night, <laughs> sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite, Night Night King. Thus, my first pick will be. God, I hate to do this because I know, mm, but yeah, I'm taking the Night King. And by the way, to explain some of my pick here, I, I'm just, I'm banking on him claiming the Iron Throne. I think that's, I think it's going to happen or, or destroying it, but I don't know if I get points for that. You don't. Dang it. <laughs> um, he's, gonna, he's not going to claim it. Shoot. All right. I take Night King. I can't go back and forth forever. I've selected. Second pick, Team Craster's 19th Wife. That's me. So I just wanted to give name. some background on why I chose that name. Craster, we all know him. We all hate him. He's sacrificing babies out there to the Night King. But <laughs> I don't know. I just really think, you know, after all is said and done, he's going to be the only one who, I mean, he's still alive, right? Or did he get killed? I can't remember. I think he got killed. You think he's going to be the only one alive? He's dead. He's dead. Well, he's got, you know, he's got like a lot of progeny. I think they might be out there somewhere, you know, out beyond the wall. Away from all the bad fighting. But anyway, so I, I, you know, I feel a special connection to him. That being said, so obviously the White Walkers are going to be a huge portion of this final season of Game of Thrones. Uh, we we're also talking about Azor High a little bit earlier. And I really would argue the main character right now who brings together both ice and fire is none other than Jon Snow, aka Jon Targaryen. So I am going to pick him if I can find him on the list. And there he is. Oh, you have overpaid. I have, I have, but you know, oh, that's a good pick. What are you talking about? Over. I mean, like, no, because like there, there is one more character that I have much more theories about that I actually think would get me more points in the end if I my theories are right. But John's a safe pick. He's going to get me a lot of points, so I'm mm. taking him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Third pick for the snake draft is me. A team has no name. Nice, that's a good name. That yeah, very good name. name. Is it a name? Thank you, know. thank you. Okay, so this pick, this might be out of left field, but I'm confident in my strategy. My pick is Viserion, ah. the zombie dragon. So he's, he's going to, I, I'm pretty confident he's going to get a dragon kill, 150 mm -hmm. points, and he's going to yeah. get a lot of random kills, a lot, even a couple main character kills. Viserion, I'm all for the, the dragon yeah, strats. Was, he was high on my list. Smart choice. That's, that's, that's a good pick. I was, yeah, it's a good pick. All right, that was my first pick. Next pick, fourth, Lord Varys's chafed groins. <laughs> Thank <Gosh>. you, Chris. <laughs> uh, do I need to explain the team name to the audience, or is that please, just go? Please, yeah, please no. Yeah, but the technicalities. <laughs> Why is he chafing? 
Uh, you know, I, I thought about this a long time, and I wanted it to be funny. I just figured if you don't have any nuts, that especially, like, he wears just a bunch of robes, like, your legs, and he's kind of chubby, too, your legs are going to be rubbing <laughs> together a lot. Wouldn't he have less chafing than a non-castrated man? I feel, okay, I thought about that, too, but I feel like part of the reason guys kind of learn how to walk with, like, their legs a little further apart is because you don't want to, like, crunch your balls. <laughs> and I'm not sure he ever inherently learned that. Oh my god! Gotcha. <laughs> but regardless, Jeez. he's he's wearing he's free. I almost said free balling. He's not free balling. He's, <laughs> he's wearing no underwear in a robe, and he's a fat, sweaty guy. Oh my god! In a lot of high pressure situations, <laughs> those groins are for sure chafed. You and think I, he didn't learn to walk without <laughs> chafing? All right, it's a stretch. It's a stretch. How do you think that, that females learn to walk without yeah, balls? Yeah, They have wider hips. It's it's. You're a doctor, Joe. You should know this shit. Oh, my yeah, Joe, it's anatomy. What, like you, um, okay, okay. Right. Chris, what is your first pick? Uh, great question. And my first pick will be Rhaegal. Mm, bad oh. pick. Ooh. Everybody going with the dragons today. That's not the biggest dragon. Drogon's the biggest. Yeah, Drogon's the biggest. Why didn't you pick Drogon? Yeah, why didn't you pick Drogon? I honestly didn't know which one was which. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. <laughs> you fool. Can't change it now. That's all right. I'm fine with it. I think Viserion's going to kill your dragon. I think so, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> all right, Chris. <laughs> so, all right. so lame. Pick number five. Stoneheart should be king. Yeah, yay. Joe? All right. For my pick... I guess you guys are just leaving me all the obvious choices. You get two picks in a row, by the way, because this I is do, the end of the yeah. snake. Oh, no, you're right. Oh, this is interesting. All right. For my pick, honestly, a little torn for my first pick on whether I think Danny or Cersei is more worth the money. But I'm going to go with Danny just because she's going to get a heck ton of screen time. And I think that's going to play a, a big role. Is she going to get any uh, sex and nudity points? She'll definitely get... Sex points. Actually, I don't know. That's the other thing. Like, she might not get any more. That sex with the yeah. the blood 25-point bonus is a lot. Yeah, but I don't know if they'll do it again, you know? Yeah, I'm going to argue that we're going to see way less sex and nudity this season. It's all going to be action and story resolution, I, mean, I think. Watching it, I've, I've started watching again. I've watched the first two seasons to just try to refresh myself before this, and the show has dialed it back so much from what it started with. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. It was, like, legit pornography in a few episodes in season one yeesh yeah yeah uh yeah and then my second pick since i get to go back to back uh i'm gonna go with old jamie lannister because i need uh, somebody that can you fight. took it nice mm, very good very he's good. also my favorite even jamie, one-handed so. jamie even one-handed jamie. oh yeah <laughs> i i really think jamie's gonna bite it at the wall or you know fighting He'll somewhere die memorably if anyone's yeah. gonna die memorably also there's some him. really good theories out there like jamie's wearing black uh, at the end of season seven, when he was going north, so maybe he'll join the Night Watch. Very good pick, Joe. I like that pick. Plus, he has the outside chance of maybe he'll also get that sex with a blood relative point, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if they make amends. <laughs> yeah. Dying memorably does give you five more points than if they survive the season. <laughs> Aha! All right. Daenerys, Jamie, pick number seven, Lord Varys' chafed groins. Okay, I will select Drogon, and now I would like to explain why I am taking both of the dragons. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is what I thought you were going to do, Chris. Darn you. This was my strategy, dang it. <laughs> um, so, here's, here's where you went wrong, David. So, you mentioned I play a lot of fantasy sports, which I do, and my basic approach to everything is to take the scoring of whatever game it is, convert it however you need it to your custom league settings, assign conditional probabilities if it's appropriate, and then you have just a ranking of projected points for each player throughout whatever season you're playing. Now, with this, I came nowhere close to doing all that because the scoring, as you read off the list at the beginning of the podcast, is crazy complicated and long. So, I just tried to go through and see some just like scoring areas that would provide um, some major advantages to certain people. So, two things. Most of these scoring categories are like happen once in the season or like kind of pretty rare things. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. A lot of the things that aren't as rare are also capped with some sort of limit, which is why Viserys is a bad pick because killing random characters is capped at 50 points per... That's for the whole season. Yeah, for the whole season. But killing a White Walker is not capped. And these two dragons are going to kill 
probably hundreds, if not thousands, of white walk. And to confirm, I went back and just watched. <laughs> no, no, no way. There's no. only a, there's only no like way. five white walkers. White walkers. Well, the whites are the zombies. The whites are the skeletons. Yeah. The white. Oh of my god! I've been thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I've been. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> oh no! In my head, I, I read White Walkers, and I thought, "There's like five White Walkers." Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what do you On call to the, the next... Army of the Dead? Whites. Whites. They're called whites. W i g h t. White Walkers are like the the powerful looking dudes. The and main, the, the generals. All right, never mind. So I'm <laughs> fucked. Can I change my <laughs> Can I change my pick? No, I haven't made it yet. It said you have. Yeah, it said you made it. All right. It's on that, to... It said I that's made tough, it. Chris. That's <laughs> tough. Hey, maybe they'll each kill a dragon. Each other. You know? You never know. Could happen. Side. Pick number Whatever. eight. The team has no name. I pick... I, I agree with Tim. I think it's going to be a massive battles this whole season. I think the violence category is the most important. I choose Sir Gregor Clegane, the mountain. I also Ooh. think he's going to die memorably. I think Brienne of Tarth and... Uh, the hound might team up and take him out memorably, so Ooh. I think he's going to get a nice little bonus there. Yeah, oh, that'd be very, very cool. Be pretty sweet. I'm so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a good culmination of the hound and Brienne's uh, like relationship throughout the show, too. Finally working together. Yeah. All right, that's be just cool. my dream situation. Um, pick number nine, Craster's nineteenth wife. You're up. All right, let's go. So I'm really surprised. People have not selected this character yet. I'm um, once again, you know, classic Game of Thrones, keeping it in the family. I'm choosing Arya Stark. Uh, she, like, I just have so many theories about where she's going to go. But ultimately, I really think she is going to die or have a memorable kind of leaving of Westeros this season. Maybe she goes on her own trip or something. But I also think she's definitely going to have a good soliloquy or memorable speech about death <laughs> and, uh, and the past because it's been something that's affected her her whole life trying to fit into this mold of being a certain kind of person when she just wants to be something else entirely. So, yeah, I'm choosing Arya for a multitude of reasons, but I think she's going to be really important this season. Good pick. That was going to be my next one. So you stole it from underneath me. Uh, picks, Correct. Picks 10 and 11, Night, Night King. You have two in a row. Okay, I think this is a steal. I really do. Of all the categories, of all the ways you can get points, violence, sex, drinking, what else? Wit. Uh, yeah, Power. wit. Yeah, exactly. Wit being funny. This this character is the LeBron James. Like he he does it all. <laughs> and, is he the uh, Bron James? It is Bron. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Very good, Joe. I choose Bron. Uh, he is the uh, he's the do it all, jack of all trades type guy. I think he's going to score me a lot of points. Not to mention he's, he's going to score me points in a lot of different ways. And he is, I think, quite beloved. And uh, if <laughs> He's either surviving the season or he better get a memorable death. He's one of my favorites. He's Next possibly pick. my favorite character. Yeah, I love him. He's great. Next pick. And uh, this is, I think this is the first, this is the first pick uh, of a new character. And so I I'm definitely taking a gamble here. I don't know anything about this guy Ooh. other than he is the leader of the Golden Company. Oh, oh dang. Oh. And uh, mm. the Golden Company is... Besides the White Walkers, the Army of the Dead, or besides the Army of the Dead, yeah, not not all the White Walkers, because there's not hundreds and thousands, <clears throat> Chris. Um, the, the Golden Company is the most powerful army in uh, kind of the world, I think. And this guy's the leader. You get points for ransacking cities and winning battles and stuff. He's going to win a ton of battles. He's going to get a lot of kills. I take Harry Strickland with the 11th pick. Harry Strickland, all or right. 12th pick, I guess. Yeah, I didn't even really... He didn't cross my mind reading through the list. Yeah, because Cersei's drafted the Golden Company, right? Yeah. As mm -hmm. her army. Yeah, so you're, that's you're, actually a very smart pick, Jared. Euron is on the way to get them right now. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Interesting tidbit that's not included in the TV show but is in the books is that the Golden Company actually has another Targaryen in its ranks. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and weren't they descended from Blackfires? Interesting. Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, like they – yeah, but super cool point. Them. Yeah, Joe, very good point. All right, pick number 12, back to Craster's 19th wife. Let's see. So I'm going to have to look at the list. We've gone through a lot of the top picks. Can, um, can this be just like a more inefficient <laughs> website? <laughs> it cannot. Uh, it's, it's free. <laughs> it is free. Fantasizer. This, this is pretty tough for me. 
fantasizer.xxx <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not what we're using you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna take it on a memorable death I, that i think is gonna happen and that's none other than our boy from bear island the grizzly himself jor mormont <laughs> Damn. what's so funny about jor mormont yeah. <laughs> no no not not funny he's oh, okay. gonna die i'm convinced <laughs> he's gonna die you'll get a lot of good uh violence points from him too i think exactly i think he's gonna go down in a blaze of uh, you know blaze of glory against the the whites and the white walkers at when they attack winterfell early on so that's my guess all hmm. right interesting pick i think and i think you'll die for danny that's like the one thing i wanted to say he needs to redeem himself after the betrayal he performed on her by serving the Bar- Baratheon secretly. So I think he's going to try and redeem himself that way. Mm, very nice. Um, all right. It is back to a team has no name. There's still a lot of good ones left and a no lot doubt. of terrible ones like Hot Pie. Hot Pie. Dude, I always thought his name was Hot Pot. Like the, pie. <laughs> like the he makes pies. Asian, Asian dish. All right. I'm between the pie. Hound and Brienne of Tarth. They're both still available. Still going for those violence points. Yeah. It's tough, but I think I'm going to choose the Hound because I like his character more than Brienne of Tarth. Drafted. Brienne of Tarth. 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 All right, uh, back to Lord Varys' chafed groins for pick number 14. Well, I thought this guy was going to be a first-round pick, um, but I'm also... I've pretty much lost all confidence in my <laughs> process, so... Yeah, that's... Just, just going to roll with it anyway. I'm going to take Bran Stark. Yeah, um, good pick. Good ooh, pick. Good pick. I, good pick. I thought he was going to be one of the first to go. He is the casinos actually have prop betting odds on who's going to be sitting on the Iron Throne. Bran Stark is the favorite. He's completely psychotic no, now. I hope he doesn't get no. the Iron Throne. So yeah, he, a few. This is kind of a boomer bust pick. Obviously, he's he's got the best chance according to the betting public to be sitting on the Iron Throne last. You'll probably get that twenty point vision bonus each episode or close to it. And then here's what I also think about Brandon, why he's boomer bust. Um, some of the theories are like he could, he either is the Night King or he faces off in the Night King in this kind of meta battle of light versus darkness. I could just see like a, I feel like with fantasy shows where these effectively these like massive zombie armies, like they usually, if they don't kill everyone, they die from someone figuring out like, oh, this is how you kill them all at one time. And if that happened, I, I feel like Bran would be the one to do it. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Boomer yeah, because if the Night King dies, the whole army dies. Yeah, right. And I feel like Bran is the probably only one that can kill him. Good pick. I wish I had Bran on my team. All right. Well, that brings it back to me. Stoneheart should be king. Yeah, you got picks number 15 and 16. I just, I, I feel like there's going to be a benefit in this game to simple screen time math. And I think Tyrion's going to get a lot of screen time. And yep. therefore, I'm drafting him. I don't Smart. know what categories he might fit into anymore, but I think that he'll pull some stuff and get me some. Well, minor he'll definitely points. get the one time per episode drinking bonus. Absolutely. <laughs> he'll probably get drinking. He'll probably get funny, like yeah, the one liners. He'll fill up the oh, witty yeah. comment bonus at times. Yeah, for sure. High for volume. Sure. High volume. He, he might. You know, who knows? He might get someone pregnant. Who knows what he him. might? He might. <laughs> he's a uh, he's just a nice, steady, high floor player. You know, low ceiling, high floor. I like it. Um, Medium floor. Yeah. For my second pick, uh, it's got to be Brienne. I don't even like her, but <laughs> she's gonna do stuff. And unfortunately, and she might have sex with Jamie. <laughs> she might. <laughs> They have some real chemistry there. <laughs> her, the actress that plays her, is so weird. So weird. She's, she's like six foot three. Yeah. It's not, like, insanely big. The Hound is six foot six. All right, pick 17, Lord Varys' chafe groins. Uh, my team is probably shit anyway, and I've got some violence on it already, <laughs> so I'm going to go with the obscure pick. Um, I kind of noticed this as a very high bonus on the score sheet. Uh, I'll take Malisandra targeting that hmm. mage point, you know? Hmm. Targeting the what? So what is magic? she going to do for you? Magic. That's magic. 50 points. Okay. 50 points. All it says is she has to do, it it says you have to do any magic and she does little shit all the time. Magic use 50 points. Oh, wow. Okay. That is, uh, that's not bad. I mean, me personally, I I love the pick for you. I I hate it for me. (laughs) I didn't realize that having a vision gets you 20 points, one per episode. That's, that's going to be like 140 points for Bran right there. Yeah, Bran's a first round (laughs) pick. Yeah. yeah, I think he is too. He he, he slid. That was, that was a steal for you for sure. Okay, it is on to a team has no name. And this one kind of going along with Joe's screen time equation. 
Uh, Cersei Lannister is still left in the pool. Oh. And I'm Damn, going to pick her that. for many available cate- categories. Hopefully, Jamie gets it in one more time with her. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that too for my character. The one but I'm picking Cersei. Jamie's going to get it in her one more time, but that in is going to be a sword. <laughs> a sword, yeah. No. Well, memorable death, that's worth more than sex. She, she'll have a memorable death for sure. <laughs> All right, pick 19, Craster's 19th wife. You know, I'm. there are a few that I'm thinking might be good players to get, but I'm also... Huh, how much is a memorable death again? 25? Yeah. Then in that case, I'm going to pick one of Daenerys's favorite captains. I'm going to uh, choose Grey Worm. Grey Worm. That's oh, pick. Tim, that's who I was going to pick if I didn't pick yeah. him. Yeah, I just like... Yeah, I've always liked uh, Grey Worm. We saw him a lot in the trailer, so that kind of put him in my mind. Uh, I don't think about him too much in the books, but definitely in the show, he's become... More of a, he's gotten more screen time. It looks like they're trying to drum up the relationship he has with Miss Enday. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm picking him. I think he's going to get screen time and the a good death. The best fantasy team name I saw on the Verge article comments was a tongue lashing from Grey Worm. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. Uh, I th- so fun. Yeah, that's a good pick, Tim. Uh, he was he was close on my list coming up. We are to pick 20 and 21 Night Night King, Jared. Night, night, king. Night, night, gang. There's plenty of violence points left, which, of course, intrigues me. I'm taking Tormund. Mm. Tormund, the the uh, huge, burly, red-headed uh, uh, wildling. I love his character. Yeah, he's pretty great. Now, now he's you know he's quite loyal to John at this point. And uh, the the problem is he's on the wall right now, and like. He he could get a super early death, which would hurt me pretty bad. Oh, they're going to make it out. Yeah, yeah. If, if he makes it out, then I like his chances of, you know, getting a ton of kills. And he and Brienne are the other, like, Brienne and Jamie, it's a, it's a possibility. But Tormund and Brienne are, and Brienne are also a possibility. So I, I like their chances of, of getting together. So I'll take Tormund. The next one that I'm going to pick. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I hate, I really hate to do this too, because I'm picking, I feel like I've picked some characters that I'm not going to like. Maybe I'll like the commander of the Golden Company. You're picking someone new again? No, 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 not someone uh, new. I just don't think I'm going to like that guy. That's all. Um, just because he's, maybe I will love him. He could be awesome. He's probably going to be like a bit of a douche. And there's no bigger in that category, a douche that is, than you're on Greyjoy. Mm. True, uh, but um, Reek. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's no, no. Uh, you, you think no. Reek's a bigger douche? No, you're on the uncle, like the the uh, not, yeah, not Reek. Theon, not Theon. You're thinking Theon. Did Chris. you say Theon? No, no you're, you're on. You said you're on. on. Oh, I heard Theon. I'm sorry. That's okay. I think I think Theon is trash. So I'm gonna take you're on mostly for winning battles and for spitting game at Cersei. He's coming hard mm. at her. He is, and he's pretty funny. They might get married. That helps, too. So, you're, I'm taking Yarn right now. That's a solid pick. I didn't think about him. Yeah. I nearly picked him last. We're on to pick 22. So, we've made it through the first 20 picks. Most characters are fairly small at this point. Um, let's try to make our picks quick. Sorry, I'm between two. Um, I'm going to choose Samwell Tarly. Obviously, just has a really great arc. I think he's going to do a lot this season. His uh, storyline is also integral to the final solution of killing the White Walkers, I think, finally. Gilly gilly. Done. Mm. If, if I could have anybody on the Iron Throne, it would probably be Samwell. Boo. <laughs> really? He's such a nice guy. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, he's <laughs> fine. Samwell is so smart and nice, he would reject the Iron Throne. Mm. The Iron Throne, here's my actual prediction for the series. Iron Throne will, will not exist. At, you know, it's going to be broken. Yeah. No one will sit da- upon it. Yeah, Daenerys says she's not going to just stop the wheel she's gonna break it right it's not i don't it's, it's not even gonna be her i hope the night king breaks it i hope yeah, that would so be tight. bad but then i lose my points i took night king first so actually i need him to really sit on it first <laughs> just take a seat <laughs> and then break it <laughs> take a seat okay it's on to my pick to complete my or not complete to add to my team of total badass warriors i am choosing Beric dondarian nice because mm. mm, mm. i love his flame sword he's so cool yeah he's pretty he's awesome he's gonna you're gonna get a lot of magic from that yeah, I was going to pick him. He might have slipped. Like, yeah, he, he could get a lot of points from, from magic, from kills. And he's on his last life because his buddy died that revives right. him. So That's he's right. probably going to get a memorable death, too. All right. These guys are I'm crazy. Up. Yep. Chris, pick 24. All right. I'll keep it uh, short and simple. Uh, I'm just going with the uh, screen time 
approach. Uh, I'm not sure where she's going to get her points. I'm sure some one-liners, maybe some wine um, going Sansa Stark. Ooh. Ooh, good pick. Good pick. <laughs> There's so many sh- characters in the show I just don't like. You don't like Sansa? <laughs> no. Sansa is such an important character. Oh, Sansa develops. Important. You don't like her at first, but then she gets like... I feel she like she's developed into anything. I like, like Sansa in real life. She's she is cool in real she's life. She's funny. She yeah, chugged a, she chugged a glass of wine on the I saw that. kiss cam. Yeah, that's so great. And that was she, at a Rangers game, right? <laughs> it was at a Knicks game, or yeah, Knicks uh, or Rangers. But uh, I also I think there is a small but not negligible possibility she could sit the Iron Throne. Yeah. Did you see? Uh, she was at like Penn State the other night at a college bar. And she was on like no. A, she was. I saw the crowd out front, and I wondered why. Yeah, she was on like an elevated platform, and she took a selfie, no. and everyone in the bar was chanting "Lady Stark." It was awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh! By the way, I was right was, outside. Yeah, Tim. Tim is a Penn State uh, <sighs> graduate student. Just got my master's degree. I'm sorry, Tim. I just put. I, I totally forgot that you went to uh, Penn State. I would have asked you about that. Like, <laughs> dude, no, here. it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Joe, you have the next two picks. Well, my next pick, uh, I'm going to do what Chris said earlier, Reek, the old Theon Greyjoy. I think <laughs> mm-hmm. he'll once again get screen time, kill some things, have a memorable death. Definitely going to die, though. Be oh, a coward. That, for sure. No for doubt. sure. At first, I wanted to make my um, team name a threesome between Varys, Reek, and Grey Worm, but I thought it would be too inappropriate. <laughs> well, you said it anyway, so here we are. Yeah. <laughs> well, I figured it'd be edited out. No, I'm keeping uh, that. Yeah, that's got to stay at this point. Uh, man, it's, you're just we're just dredging the bottom of the barrel at this point. <laughs> and there's still oh, so you're picking Alice Carstark? Hot um, pie, hot pie. I'm intrigued by Alice Carstark. I think she might play a role, but no, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Varys just once again. Screen time. He'll say awful, funny stuff. Awful pick. I bet he's not die. funny at all, actually. Well, he'll he'll have soliloquies of that. I have no doubt. <laughs> These monologues like a champ. Yes, very nice, Chris. Back to you for pick twenty-seven. Yeah, I'm kind of like through pretty much anything that I was thinking about. So let's <laughs> keep the team theme animals. Uh, I'll take ghost. Mm. Nice, good pick. <laughs> he'll probably this kill a, a few people. Ninety percent animal team. <laughs> <laughs> great are dragons animals oh for sure yes yeah yeah they're an endangered species in game of thrones <laughs> they're an extinct species in real life you know what i'm saying oh, oh yeah. my gosh joe oh my you don't gosh. believe in dragons jared <laughs> do i believe in dragons <laughs> of course okay it's my pick um going the magic route i'm picking kyburn cersei's nice. uh messed Dang, up good maester slash wizard slash witch doctor great pick I bet you he's going to have some guy. stuff at the mountain. Or he's going to experiment on some whites. No, I, I hope he just dies immediately. He, he's, he might be my least favorite character. All right, back to you, Tim. Pick 29. Okay. I'm picking Gendry. Going to get some violence points, maybe even get some one-liners. Hmm. With that hammer. Hmm. Yep. All right, that's it for a, me. You know, heir to the Brathians and all that. Yeah, also, yeah, for sure. Okay. Some power points. Am I, am I tripping here, or has Sir Davos not been picked yet? He is not. Okay, good. Well, that that's a steal for me because he, he's going to get more screen time than Varys, Grey Worm. It, it, like he's no. going to get. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. You don't think so? Okay, I'm taking Davos. I mean, I take him just for his cool accent. Yeah, that's a he's a sleeper hit. I think he's definitely going to help out, and he might. Uh, he's old enough that he might die too. <laughs> <laughs> just I mean, these episodes are an hour and a half each. Age? He might just die. Die yeah, from old age. age is not memorable. <laughs> It yeah, doesn't no. count. Dude, his... I've, maybe you guys... I don't know what I'm... I feel like he gets a significant amount of screen time. Okay. I feel like he doesn't do shit. <laughs> he just, he just he, he's, he's involved in everything. But he doesn't He doesn't drink. He doesn't kill people. He doesn't... He's not funny. He doesn't he have great sex. advice. Yeah, he's a, he's a wise uh, advice giver. Enjoy that zero point bonus for great advice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, good point. Okay, I take uh, with the 31st pick. Oh, man, only because do I ever love her is Gilly. <laughs> Gilly, Gilly. God. Why do you love Gilly? 
if if I, oh she's just simple like she's just great she um she kind of every you, girl wants to be called simple <laughs> <laughs> what a compliment did you see the she, minus 20 points for losing a baby yeesh no, 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 no. I, 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 I didn't see that. <laughs> she'll be okay. She'll, she'll make it. But if I could get two, um, my picks for sitting on the Iron Throne, I want Sam and Gilly to be like king and queen together. Uh, Gilly's not educated enough to be queen of Westeros. Oh, that's that's why she's so, okay. Yeah, you, maybe you're right. I'm actually surprised people haven't chosen this one yet. Fan favorite. Definitely gonna get some screen time. Get some violence on there. Also, probably get a one-liner or two. I'm going with Podrick Payne. A good old tripod. Good pod. <laughs> That's true. Tri- he, 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 what 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 is going to happen with Podrick, dude? I have no idea. He's yeah, a fan yeah. favorite. Like you know, you can just see that he's going to get some screen time. I don't know. We'll figure it uh, out. The series is going to end without like ever mentioning what happens to him. I think <laughs> he's going to like save Brienne. He's going to kill a white that's about to kill Brienne or something. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is slim pickings. As far as screen times go, Yara has been on screen a lot the past couple of seasons. I think the Greyjoys are a solid pick, potentially. We're, we're not even going to see. She's going to be dead by the time Theon gets there. I'm with Jared. I don't think she's going to play a big role this season. Theon shows up to save her, and, you know, Euron or whoever is there is like, nope, sorry, dead. dead. Memorable death. I'll take it. And then Theon's going to get pissed, but then he's going to die immediately because he sucks everything now. And uh, No. And thus ends the the great joys. Well, except for Euron. All right, Chris, back to you. All right. Uh, yep, slim pickings. I'm just going to go with some cheap but assured violence points. Um, let me make sure I get his pick, name right. Pick Ari as Wolf. <laughs> uh, uh, please don't give away my strategy. I'm trying to sneak, <laughs> sneak her out in the last round. Even uh, though he she's... ran away with the wolf pack and is never to be seen again. Yeah, she's going to rejoin and... and kill people she obviously remembered aria anyway yeah she'll rejoin cheap cheap violence points i'm gonna take kono um dothraki warrior he's just gonna kill quite a few people mm. not mm. much else yeah it's slim yeah, I pickings know. i feel like the dothraki are like just totally uh expendable like true that guys that guy's nobody yeah given that i didn't know his name i can't disagree but <laughs> <laughs> all right joe you have the next two picks all right. I think there's still some garbage points out there to be had. Whoever ends up with hot pie should, like, get some sort of bonus. <laughs> I'll, I'll just say, Joe, you got, you got to take hot, hot pie now. Now's your chance. Uh, it's not getting back to you. No, nah, he'll come back. None of you are going to take him. You're all idiots. I'm just well, counting on that. <laughs> um, gosh, we still have how many picks left? Fifteen. There are too many characters in Game of Thrones. Uh, I'm going to get some more violence points, I guess. Man, oh, these picks are terrible. <laughs> This is like this is gonna take... the commentary has just so devolved into like eh, yeah. I guess it's just too many too many people to fill up it's yeah. way too thin now. I'm gonna take Ed. Too thin rooster. Edison Ed? Tullet is uh John's friend at the wall. Oh yeah, yeah. Well he'll kill some whites. He'll get me fifty points. He's not just John's friend, he's the new leader of the Night's Watch, right? Oh, is he? Oh, he is. Oh. John John left him in charge. Dang, well, that's guaranteed power points. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, and my next pick, I think Nymeria is going to play a role, and I'm taking her. I'm sorry, Chris, if you were going to take the wolf. <laughs> Good pick, Joe. She's she's hinted at a lot in the books. Yep. I, I think, think Arya is going to warg into her if she dies. That'd be sick. Oh, that would mm-hmm. be so sick. Mm-hmm. But then who gets the points? Is it Arya or is it Nymeria? It's up to whoever the uh, the point determination person is, right? <laughs> I don't trust this person. Yeah, I don't either. We should write them an angry letter. <laughs> Before we even start. Before yes. we start. <laughs> First All off, right, your Chris, website's terrible. It's, it's you for pick 37. Yeah. Has anyone taken Daenerys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm just kidding. I'm like, going to steal. I'm completely out of people to pick. Uh... Yeah, half of the people left probably won't even show up at all. <laughs> they're not going to be. A, they're not going to be in the series. Pick a rando from season eight. Yeah, yeah. Pick a okay. new person. I'll take. Uh, take a chance. Willa. Nice. Okay, good pick. Good pick. Really good pick. Thanks. You know what? I still feel good about my dragons after looking at the points more. They're they're going to incapacitate a lot of people. <laughs> How many times have you watched through Game of Thrones? Twice. Once, and then the 
first two seasons. Okay, and you thought White Walkers were the skeletons? <laughs> no, no, I like I knew that they weren't, but I made that mistake when I was watching the show the first time, and Paige had to explain it to me. And so it's just like I think it's like a habit, and I faulted again because I used to think the Night King was called the White Walker when I first started this, watching the show. <laughs> then Paige told me no, there's multiple White Walkers, and so I thought all of them were White Walkers. But then she was like, no, they're like the Army of the Dead. So I gotcha got for pick thirty-eight. I'm going out kind of on a on a whim here. I'm going with Fergus, a new character in season eight. <laughs> good pick. Good pick. It literally, the description gives nothing away. I don't. I don't know what he does. So that at means all. anything can happen. Uh, I'm surprised no one has chosen this character yet. Out of the slim pickings, I think they're gonna be the one with the most funny one-liners and screen time, which is going to be Leanna Mormont. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, the the leader of Bear Island. So here she stands, and I'm going to pick her. I'm going to stand with her. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not thrilled about that, but I don't hate it. Mira Reed, has she been picked? Nope. Well, is she even going to be back in? Dude, she, she's coming back. She's coming back. I, I'll take Mira. She might come back, like, in the nick of time to save Brand or something. I don't know. Yeah, she, I could see that. I'm taking Mira. Um... With the first of my two. She's not coming back to save Bran. The last thing Bran said to her, she's like expecting to be thanked. And he's just like, okay. That's right. That, that is true. She, she's like, you don't need me anymore. It's like, yeah, I don't need you anymore. And she was pissed. All right, Bran. Bran sucks. Honestly, like there are so many reasons I want the Night King to win. I don't want Bran to beat the Night King because Bran sucks. Me neither. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm rooting hard for for the the boys in white and blue, blue and white. <laughs> <laughs> There's blue ice, so yeah, yeah. One of my least favorite characters. I mean, he is he is in the very bottom of the barrel for me as far as who I like. Um, but I'm taking him. Gosh darn it, Robin Aaron. I was gonna say the same thing. I was just gonna pick him so I had someone to root for to die. Yeah, <laughs> I hate that guy. I hate him, but I'm taking him. Whenever we first meet him, and he's just a whiny little kid that wants to see people thrown, you know, a hundred feet to their deaths, sucking on his feet. mommy's titty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. Hey, milk so, is good for you. That's, Vitamin D. Th- th- those are my. Last, I think that concludes my my draft. Yeah, it yeah. Does, so it's back to Tim, and we are on the final nine picks. Wow, the final season. You get one more, Jared. I get last pick. Bang. Yeah. I'm just going to pick the one that I think is going to get the most screen time at this point. Uh, and she's been featured in the trailer just like Grey Worm uh, frequently. I'm going to go with Miss Enday. She's been a oh, long time wow. favorite of Daenerys. That's a great pick. She's going to be big. I think yeah, I'm surprised we skipped her. I, I kept looking at her, but I thought she was drafted already. That was just nothing she's really done besides like two nudity scenes. Exactly. Really yeah. is going to well, get was, her any points. She was points. pretty big in the... Uh, in the book series, like definitely one of the first sounding boards that Daenerys had to yeah, speak her mind with. At, so I don't know. At this point I, in the draft, yeah. the amount of screen time she gets is like no one even comes close to that for people. That's like. very yeah. valuable. I think she and Grey Worm are definitely having a baby. So that could be who has Grey Worm. Ooh, by the way, hot take. Wait, I'm sorry. What did you just say? Wait, how could that happen? Darn it! I forgot. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I mean, maybe through the power of magic and love. I meant you to never say, know. Jared, do we need to talk about the birds and the bees? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we might. I, I meant May, to say hey. that her and Varys are having a baby. There you go. Hey, well, Jared, maybe they adopt a kid. Again, that was a joke because, okay, <laughs> yeah. we're on the same page. Maybe Varys read. Yeah, chapter Roy 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 ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last chance, Theon. <laughs> oh, poor Reek. All right, it's to my pick, and I'm going with another new character who either Martha or Nora, new for season eight. Let's go for Nora, because it said that she's not featured in the books at all. Could she's going to be, be a game changer. Could be points out of nowhere. You just picked, like, the most important character, probably. It's, it's, it's going to be like Captain Marvel <laughs> coming in late. Okay, Chris. Uh, same exact strategy as David. I will take Sara. Sara. <laughs> I'm intrigued by this Martha character, but her description is literally, will appear in one or both of the episodes yeah. directed by this guy. So she's literally going to be in one episode. <laughs> That sounds terrible. Uh, I'm going to take Alice Carr Stark. Mm. I don't know much about her. I think she's going to be a love interest of somebody. That's just a total guess. Wow, that's so sexist, Joe. Well, minor characters, you know. What else are they going to do? All right, we're down to the top, I mean, bottom or last five picks of the whole draft. Oh, Mm. I've been waiting on this pick for far too long, my friends. The man, the myth, the legend, the one sitting on the Iron Throne at the end. Hot pie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. 
steal. It's nasty, frightful, bad luck to not have hot pie on your team. It is. <laughs> that just felt good. Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize <laughs> Joe made Pick six. 47. Uh, I'll do Lord Yon Royce. Maybe he'll kill someone. Yeah. There you go. Jared, are you really still <laughs> trying to criticize my picks? There's like six characters left and none of them are anyone important. Yeah, great pick, Chris. <laughs> You're going to love that one. Why, Ayata? All right, back to me. So, the list is just hilarious. <laughs> are there any points that could apply to the Iron Bank guy? I don't know. Dude, Tycho. I feel like no, but... No Tycho, Tycho Nestorus. There's just no way. It's a cool name. I mean, the Iron Bank could take the Iron Throne, you know? Yeah. That'd be that'd be pretty fitting, I think, for this show, but unlikely. All right, I'm going with Robat Glover, the Lord of Deepwood. Oh, I was just looking at him. Maybe some battle points there. Okay, the bottom two. Tim. Alrighty. David, I'm glad you did not choose Tycho. Uh, I just, I doubt he'll come back, but if he does, maybe he'll finally... Wait, he's being funded by... I can't even remember right now, but maybe he'll, you know, debts need to be paid. Maybe it has something to do with the Lannister house motto. We'll see. But anyways, just Tycho. I think he might have something to say still here at the end. Mm. And the final pick goes to Jared. Good, good, yes. Where the heck did he go? Is it Walken? Is that what I'm thinking of? No, 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 I'm not picking him. I'm, I'm picking Lord Ned Umber. Hmm, okay. And, you know, I don't have a reason. What an anticlimactic <laughs> last pick. Lord Ned Umber. Ned Umber. So, okay, the people left. Ebros, Edmer Tully, Martha. Ned oh, Edmure. Edmure, yeah, okay, I'm taking him, actually. I'm taking Tully. Yeah. Um, that guy sucks, though. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> That's what you get down here. The it is barrel. finished. Draft complete. It is decided. I, I love my team. I, I think I've I think I got some steals all the way through. I love my team. I'm scared of the dragons. We're going to be doing a season review episode at the end of May when this is finished. We'll also report back on who won the Fantasy League, the Hostile Discourse, Game of Thrones Season 8 Fantasy, and won the Big Moolah. We're also going to be doing a an episode after the first episode next week just to kind of talk about that episode and where we see the season going after we see that. So look forward to that. And then the week after that, I'll be releasing an interview I did with Tom Boyden from the Juji Mufu YouTube channel. So I had a great conversation with him. We got to talk about his life as a YouTuber, a, an entrepreneur, and just a full-time con- content creator, which is a very unique career path. So that was that was fun. Um, guys, any parting words about this season that you want to say? Night-night. All hail hot pie. I'd just like to say it's been pretty surreal getting to uh, see such a cool book series get made into such a popular TV show on with one of the biggest budgets ever for a tv show so i just want to like thanks to everyone for being a fan and enjoying the west arrows with us gosh you're welcome tim yeah, you are welcome yeah you're welcome you're welcome do you, do you think that this is actually <laughs> the final season or they make some sort of spin-off oh, there, there's already a spin-off show announced really yeah right i haven't heard anything not, not that i know of. That. I, thought it, I thought there was like a prequel like in the clause when george sold the rights of the show to them I'd like to see the first man in a prequel. That'd be pretty cool. That would be so sick. Or like Aegon's Conquest. Yeah. That'd be cool. I do think what makes this such a unique TV show, besides all like the amazing cinematography and all that and the great acting and stuff, is like you're saying, it's like an unfinished but very eloquent book series. And so the fact that like there's not really any spoilers and there's only speculation, it's pretty exciting. Definitely, Chris. Um... My biggest concern is I love the show, and but it's also Masters Week, and <laughs> this is like Christmas week for me, and the fact that it premieres the night of the same day as Masters Sunday is just going to be incredibly draining, and I, <laughs> I'm considering taking Monday <laughs> off of work. <laughs> you should. I hope your employer listens to this. All right, that is it for this episode. Um, the show is now on Spotify, so that is some news for you. If you're a Spotify user, you can listen to the show there. If not, give us a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. We'd really appreciate it. It would help the show 
get boosted in the search rankings. Thank you, you all, for joining me in this fantasy league. You're welcome, baby. Welcome, David. Thanks for having us. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So long. Thanks for listening to Hostile Discourse. Subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher. And check out our other social media accounts linked in the show notes. Join us next time for more inexhaustible debate over the most questionable of topics.